The shooting and hunting world raises a huge amount of money for charity in lots of different ways. One of the most inclusive ideas is offering deer stalking in a charity a raffle. Have you used a stecker before? If you just push that forward and it's an extremely light trigger. Okay, so if you want to give it a try. Ross Stephen won an Aberdeenshire row stalk with bells on. Dear guide Milton Ferguson has arranged a field to fork extravaganza, including a cooking lesson with the kilted chef Craig Wilson. There are even some pipes thrown in. So we need to uh, get you into the kitchen, maybe give you a few skills, tips and encouragement to make this iconic Scottish ingredient. Something that you will remember for a long time. Are you ready? Yep. Let's get cooking. Ross is not an experienced shot, so this is even more special. He's even got Jason Doyle following with the camera. More added value. Their first buck encounter is a frustrating one. The bucks are not doing what they've been told to. Keep still. We got on his feet there and he just went down for weather. Yeah, he was on to us, wasn't he? Oh, he was on to us long before that, yeah. I just thought, rather than wait till dark with him sitting there, he's not going to come back down the to tonight. Yeah. With a change of estate, weather and tactics, Milton explains what this stalk is in aid of. A local farmer, Graham Henderson, whose granddaughter, uh, must be about 10 years ago, required a heart transplant at about the age of seven. So he phoned me and asked me if I could help. They were organising a ball for, uh, to raise money for, the, for Chuff, the children's heart unit. Fund. I thought, well, I could, I could help by donating a, a, a day's stocking, so an evening and a morning stocking, and uh, to tie it in and make it more interesting. I contacted Craig Wilson at Eaton the Green, the kilted chef, and he agreed that he would come on board and he would uh, give a cooking lesson on how to cook it and then provide a meal for uh, six guests to go to Eaton the Green and have a meal. With the kilted chef lacking the main ingredient, we'd better get on. As luck would have it, there's a last chance roebuck browsing peacefully ahead of us. It's not best practice to shoot over water, but the bank is easily accessible. Ross does the job with the first and takes a second off camera. I'm on, the, I'm on the button with the old catching the, <laughs> catching the round there as it came flying out the rifle. So no one knows your fortune. <laughs> they are two lovely clean animals. So this is a nice young buck. I would say he's probably in his second year. Uh, he's got a good head on him, but uh, he's in amongst these young trees, these young saplings. So. He has to go, and he's also definitely a nice piece of meat for the for the for the kitchen. And again, a young one. Nice shot placement as well. So there's a lot of walkers here, and there's a lot of uh, it's such a picturesque area. I don't want to I don't want to growl at them here, so we'll take them away and we'll growl at them in a different location because we don't want people walking around with their dogs and children, and then the dog comes back with with a stomach of deer or, or a set of lungs and a, <laughs> a heart. And because the deer's young... Jason lends Milton his emberleaf knife and he gets to work. The knife will go through here like butter. Yep. Look at that. You're cutting through the hedge barn? Yep. Well, it allows the deer to cool a lot quicker if you open that bit up as well. Go. So the idea is that you seal off the esophagus and don't spill anything back in, which is basically what we've achieved here. The challenge of the outing is to have these animals in the kitchen in time for lunch, so Milton will need to skin them too. 
Milton has an idea to speed up the process. It's something he's seen That's on YouTube. It requires a Land Rover, a golf ball, and some string. A skin to connect the golf ball. The other reason I like this is because you don't get the same amount of ticks on you. If you're hanging a deer that's riddled with ticks up, make sure that stays perfectly sealed in the fur. Okay. Forward at that, keep going. Slowly. Nah, stop. Okay. Slowly. Nice and slow. Slow. Stop! Back you come a wee bit. Success. I think that's absolutely brilliant. I mean, that's the first time I've ever tried it, because I've seen it, but uh, actually I'm sold on that idea. If you have a lot of deer to do... I think it's down to good driving, if I'm honest. Grab the <clears> bottom <throat> leg. That's it. You got them both. Okay. This is where we hand over to Craig Wilson, chef at the Eat on the Green in Udney Green. Craig recommends marinating the venison. That's his preferred way of preparing the meat while adding ingredients to sit alongside this wild protein. There is this saying that like if it um, if it grows together, it goes together. Even like 10 minutes uh, is gonna, you know, you're gonna get a bit of flavor. I would prefer it overnight. Um, two days would even be even better, uh, but the that's why I'm really trying to exaggerate the flavour so it kind of penetrates the meat. It's only going to enhance the texture as well. Carrot and cardamom puree. We've got some microgreens, celeriac slaw. Uh, we've got whiskey onions uh, with blueberries and freshly shot buck from this morning. That is a true taste of Aberdeenshire here in Scotland. Um, it is enjoyed by oh all, nice. and Jason and Milton are surprised that fresh from the fields with no hanging at all is so tender. To finish off the day, there's a piper, a young man who learned to play the bagpipes during lockdown. Who needs school when there's YouTube for learning the important things in life? To donate to the Children's Heart Unit Fund, go to chuf.org. .uk